What's up everybody, and today I'm going to be doing another video, uh, this is a tutorial, um, I've decided just to stick with gaming and tutorials, um, the gaming hasn't been doing too good, um, I've done, I've been doing the, um, tutorials and it's got many views, uh, I would like to say thank you for all the views that I got in two days, um, I really do appreciate it, so, since I'm getting all these views, more views, and it seems like um, people like these mod um, tutorials I'm deciding to do another tutorial so this tutorial is going to be on how to um, install EUP which is a um, uh, uniform uh, mod for LSPDFR and uh, you can get it on the LSPDFR site I'm going to teach you how to do it, uh, download and install it uh, to your game so you can have it running so well, let's get started uh, by going uh, type it into your web browser. I already have it open. Um, just search up lspdfr.com. Then, when you come to this screen, the home screen, go to the search button and just type in EUP. Um, just search that in. And if you guys don't know what EUP means, it means uh, emergency uniform pack. So it looks like you have they have something new. Uh, wow okay but we're not going to be downloading I'll make another video when the new version comes out but let's go down here to emergency uniform pack so you want to press this when you find this oh by the way you're going to be needing two things the first thing is actually the emergency uniform pack 7.4 and the EUP menu so when you're here just go download to this file you know make sure you're not a bot and just download and once that downloads and you got it just click here to start it up I already have this so I am actually not gonna be whatever I already have it so I'm gonna do it so once you downloaded it I'm gonna bring this up here which is gonna be let me go to my downloads and this is gonna be the download link so once this is open you want to press this to the download links. I'm gonna make this. I'm making. I'm gonna try and make this video as fast as possible, but at the same time, go slow. Um. So go back to your uh, tab. Go to your web browser. Make a new tab. Um. Now you have the choice to do automatic and manual. I highly recommend doing automatic because it's just easier to do. So whatever you want to do, either which one, just copy copy the link go to your web browser make a new tab and paste it and then once you've done that just enter and search it um... it will bring you up to this mega site a lot of mods use this um... such as gta the gta 5 mods website so once you're here it says download with mega sync and download through browser do not download with mega sync uh... because i tried that i didn't even know it just i didn't even read this at first download through your browser so I'm not I don't think I have this yeah okay so download this and it'll bring another file file up and once you got it you can just X this stuff out um now it will be like this either which one it will have EUP 7.4 automatic install or it will say EUP 7.4 manual install so once you got it either which way open it go to automatic and then it'll have this the UP 7.4 OIV. What you want to do is just drag it, and once that is um, onto the desktop, you got it. Now just X out because that's all you need from there. You want to go to Open IV. Uh, you want to press GTA 5 for the Windows, obviously, because this is um, a PC mod. Um, you don't need item mode. This right here, the three things. Just click on this, which is the package installers go to wherever you saved it but I recommend going to putting out on your desktop because it's just easier um, and then pick this uh, EP 7.4 uh, dot OIV and then open and then it'll open the package installer to install it then press install and wait for install once it's done just X out and X out of this I didn't need it install because I already have it installed and I'm not gonna you know overlap it again so once you've got that, you've done. You're done with the first step, but that doesn't mean you're completely done. Done. Um, so we, you're gonna want to go back to uh, EUP, or they have a link. I didn't even see it, but either way, they'll have a link right there. 
But uh, let's go back and uh, go down here wherever they had a link anyway. So you're gonna need EUP menu. Now the EUP menu is is what it's gonna work. This is how it's gonna work. Um, this is the menu to uh, pull every all the uniforms up and stuff. So you're gonna need this. Um, you don't need the like if you if you're not watching this video then you can read this stuff but I am making a video because I was confused the first time so you just want to pick I uh, you just want to press I'm not a robot obviously and you just want to download um I'm not gonna wait you know what we're just gonna download it hell with it we'll just see all right it downloaded it's is a very fast download not unless your computer's not good um but go here um should be in, go to your downloads or wherever uh, it is and um it should be where is it here I'm trying to find it EP hold on guys I'm trying to find this um where is it here I'm trying to find this where is it I can't find it EP it should be under oh here it is EUP menu um, so you just want to press it and the whatever X out of this now this is what you're gonna do this is probably the simplest step it's just a drag and drop procedure um so once you're you just want to open your uh, GTA 5 directory and what I'm guessing is you guys are probably gonna have your plugins menu and your LSPDFR menu you're not gonna need this but I'm guessing you're gonna have your plugins menu because you probably have callouts and different plugins to make LSPDFR uh, better so just go into plugins go here back to here EUP menu to files and then you have these plugins and then rage native UI DLL file so the plugins you just want to go here what you literally want to do is just drag and drop into here I'm not going to drag and drop because I already have it so then you just want to back out of that once you got it it should have EUP and then EUP menu DLL so once you've done that that's good just back out of plugins and if you do not have the rage native UI DLL you do need that and that's what it's gonna that's how it's gonna work um, that's that but I'm not gonna put it in because I already have it as you can see I have rage native DLL uh, UI DLL so <clears throat> Uh, once you've done that, just X out of this, uh, go to your game, and what people um, sometimes get confused, when they load the game up, it won't work, because you are you have to go to the settings of Rage Plugin Hook. So, once you're in the settings of this, go to plugins, and then it'll have, you know, all your plugins. Uh, this will be unchecked, you're going to want to check it for it to work. So, once you've checked it, you want to save and launch. I'm not going to launch it because I'm not going to go into the game. And once you've got that, um, you're pretty much done. But I'm going to show you one more quick little thing that you can do for EUP. So when you go back to plugins and you go to EUP, you have all these here. Now the settings, you can change the settings to whatever. So you can toggle the menu to whatever you want. I put it on F8 because I have nothing on F8 that interferes with my other mods. So put a put a um a key key there so so uh put a key there that doesn't interfere with any of your other mods because if it does it'll be annoying you know be in the way so i just put it at f8 now you have wardrobe i'm never i actually i've done it once but i it's i don't know whatever you can change this up to whatever i don't know i've never touched that before you got the characters and all this stuff so it's a lot of stuff you can customize but um, I don't really touch characters wardrobe or preset outfits I just stick with the settings so you can just change this so um that's pretty much it um that's the video it's pretty simple that's all I have for today if you guys did like this video please take like a second out of your time just to like and subscribe to my channel because it does mean a ton to me and that means i'm doing something good and also it means you guys do appreciate and enjoy these kinds of videos so that's all i have for today and i'll see you in the next video peace